take a few moments now to look at plural nouns in German. When we form a plural noun in English, it's really fairly a fairly straightforward process. We take a, a singular noun, like the one you see here on the screen, the car, and we simply add an S to it. So instead of a singular noun, we now have a plural noun. Now what's nice is it's um, that way with all the nouns in the English language. The computer, the computers. The tree, the trees. The car, the cars. Uh, you'll notice also that the definite article stays the same. It's the, the, and the. Wouldn't it be nice if it were that way in German? Unfortunately, it's not. And what makes it a little more difficult is that uh, there is no way to predict what the plural of a noun will be in German. There are certain patterns that, uh, that we form, that, that form, and variations on those patterns, but essentially those patterns are random and arbitrary. So the best thing to do is to, when you memorize a noun, to memorize the gender of the noun, der, die, das, and then also memorize the plural form of the noun. So there's three things that you need to memorize when you memorize vocabulary. That being said, let's go through and walk through these essentially five different patterns and take a look at them. Now the first pattern is an easy one. We have an, uh, like you see on your screen, we have a noun, das Zimmer, the room, and to form the plural of that, we simply change the definite article from das, which is singular, to d, which is plural. There is no ending. So das Zimmer goes to d Zimmer. Now the variation on that pattern um, does essentially the same thing. D Mutter, with D being singular, singular feminine, changes to D plural. Now you recall that in plural there is no masculine feminine neuter, there's only plural. So D Mutter. There is no ending on the noun, but there is a stem vowel change. So the U in Mutter goes to a U umlaut Mutter. So that's a, it's, it's a slight nuance. It's uh, something that can easily slip through the cracks that you can lose track of on your radar. So uh, something to keep in mind if you don't see anything changing but you see an addition of umlauts, chances are that it's probably gone from singular to the plural. Now the second pattern is a fairly frequent one. We have a, uh, a noun, der Tag, the day, and to change that to plural, we simply add an E. And the definite article changes from the masculine singular to the plural, D. Der Tag, die Tage. The variation on that, again, has to deal with umlauts. Der Stuhl, the chair, masculine singular, changes, the definite article changes to D, plural. We still add an extra E ending onto the noun, but in addition, we also add a stem vowel change. Der Stuhl, die Stühle, which changes it to the chairs. Now, the third pattern um, adds an ER ending, and it has a vowel change thrown in. So we have a noun, das Buch, the book, De, uh, das, which is a neuter singular, changes to a plural definite article, D, and we have an ER ending plus we have a change in the quality of the stem vowel. So it goes from a U to a U umlaut. Das Buch, die Bücher. 
Now, the fourth pattern adds an N to the uh, to the noun. So, di lampe, the lamp, di feminine singular, goes to di lampen, uh, di being a plural uh, definite article, di lampen, di lamps. Now, we just tack an N onto this vowel because it, already, it ends in a uh, it ends in a vowel, di lampe, ends in an e. Let's take a look at some variations on this pattern. Now we have a a noun here, die Frau, the woman, die Frau in. You know, it ends in a vowel, but it's not an e, so it, it is amenable to a second e. Uh, an en ending. So die Frau, die would be a feminine singular, goes to die plural, die Frauen. Let's look at another variation on this pattern. Die Studentin, the female student. Now it ends in an n already, so we're going to with it, it, let me let me rephrase this. It ends in an i n. Therefore, the plural ending will add an n e n. Die Studenten, die Studentinnen. And finally, the fifth pattern, which is by far the easiest, das Auto, which is a neuter singular, changes to d plural autos with an s. Now. This fifth pattern generally occurs in words that are uh, foreign loan words. Das Radio, die Radios. Das Taxi, die Taxis. Das Auto, die Autos. Uh, most of them will be neuter, generally of foreign origin and it's fairly straightforward and simple to form the uh, form the plural form. That being said, the most efficient way to, the best way besides being a native speaker is to memorize these plural forms once you memorize the noun in the singular form. So if you're memorizing der Tisch, the table, make sure that you have Tisch, table, you memorize it with der, which would be a masculine singular, but also at the same time memorize the plural form, die Tische. So three things to memorize. In the long run, it becomes second nature and you could just focus on speaking German.